Let's refresh trigger control and prepping the trigger. Now there's a few different views out there in the industry as far as how we should uh, prep the trigger. Should we just push right through as taught in some uh, federal agencies or should we prep and then break? But either way, we gotta get to that end goal where we break that shot without disturbing the muzzle. So make this your own little journey. I mean, really, I find personally, and I turn on the take-up indicator, that my trigger mechanics are best when I take up the slack, all right? I take up the slack aggressively. My finger's on the trigger. I'm actually ready to break a shot. My muzzle is aligned on target. And then, boom, I, I break it. So it's not, a, it's not a constant velocity. It is an accelerated, I hit the wall, and then, boom, I break it. Now, the one issue with that, if you have different triggers, you go from a 20-ounce trigger to a New York trigger, 12-pound trigger, you know, how do you know when to stop? If you do enough reps, you can get a general sense that when you prep, it's almost like, with, particularly with a Glock, that right when that finger gets beneath the, the pin, you know, that's about your stop point, irrespective of the actual break weight. So let's play with that a little bit. So just a demo here, what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna go on this target, I'll go strong hand only. I'm gonna just push straight through, straight through, straight through, straight through, straight through, then I'm gonna prep, break, prep, break, prep, break. So what I mean here, what we have really going on is a prep, break, prep, break, or just push straight through, just push straight through, just push straight through. So play with that a little bit, and then let's take it to the range and really see how the results manifest. Okay. All right, my friends, now we're on the range. Let's work this prepping the trigger, but let's do it with our live fire gun and make sure all our mechanics are carrying over. So I got my eyes and ears, I got my pistol concealed. So really what this looks like, I'm gonna actually go ahead and do it strong hand only. I'm gonna present out. Now this trick here, I'm going to prep the trigger, prep, and then break that shot. Okay, and I'll tell you what, I'll aim right for that little bolt on the steel target. So I'm gonna prep the trigger, and I'm going to break that shot. I'm going to prep that trigger and then break that shot. Prep the trigger and then break that shot. The other way of doing this is just a straight push through to where I'm going to line up and I'm just going to like push constantly through. I'm going to push constantly through. I'm going to push constantly through. Okay, so two ways of doing it. See which one works for you. There's both ways are really taught, quote, in the industry. I think one thing you may want to be cautious of is that one way might give you a little bit of an initial performance dip, but it might be better in the long run. Play with that and then go back to your light, your dry fire area and just work these mechanics all the more and really watch that laser sweep. Now when you're in your own home, you can work this just the same. So I take the cert and I go ahead and turn the take up indicator on and then I'll just work, I prep as I present out and boom, break a shot. So I'll prep and break a shot. I'll come out, I'll prep the trigger, boom, break a shot. And I just get those reps and I sneak them in throughout the day. Now, of course, after you've had some time on the range, you go back and you just get a lot more reps in. Now, just to be clear on this, though, what we're talking about here is we can play with the prep, break, prep, break, or just push straight through, push straight through. But you're going to see that laser, that diagnostic laser sweep to really diagnose how far off it is. And at some distances, if it's a little bit off, it really may not matter because you're still within that acceptable accuracy zone. But let's stay tuned now and look at the next layer on this next week where we're actually going to really refine that that full follow through where we break, reset, and re-prep so you're just maximizing your use of precious time. <laughs>